This has to be one of the most ridiculous products I've ever seen. I mean, of all the pointless things, I mean, out of all the ridiculously over the top, just stretching to make something work, I, what on earth does this have any point in the market? I mean, what was deep cool thinking? I love this thing so much. Okay, let's take a closer look at what this GPU riser is gonna offer us. So, I mean, not a lot, I guess, in terms of anything fancy. So as you can see, everything here, we've got our clearly where our RGB lighting is going to come through here. We've got this bracket right here. Now this wasn't assembled when it comes in. You just have to screw the, the screw in there, but you can adjust it. There's actually a second hole here too that's a little bit offset. So you can kind of find just the perfect level for your graphics card. And then, you know, we've got a nice rubber um, pad here on top of the, the arm so that we don't have to worry about grounding issues or damaging or scratching things or any harshness there. So yeah, pretty solid little design here. Um, what's interesting now is this, there's this other part here that comes in. So as you can see here, this is about the perfect level to fit on top of a PSU shroud. But if I get these screws out of here real quick, and pull this base off. So yeah, all you have to do is unscrew these two screws there. And then what you can actually do is mount this bad boy up into this base. And once you have it mounted up here and screw it back in, now if you didn't have a PSU shroud, this would sit all the way to the bottom of your case. So Deepcool really thought of everything on that. Now, we got 3M tape on the, oops, that was loud. We got 3M tape on the bottom of both ends. Great. Um, the RGB connector is something kind of weird proprietary to Deepcool. So they also include their own little wire here that has an adapter. We've got a three pin here for the ones that don't have the space. And then we also have the wire here that has the three pin for when you have the board that does have that space. So, and then there's a connection there. And then you can also extend that connection so you don't actually use up a, a slot. You can actually um, wire it off and then continue. So that's good forethought on Deepcool. Not a lot there. Like I said, pretty straightforward, but I figured it'd be worth showing off anyway. Alrighty, I have this baby installed. Let's take a look at how well it works. So um, really it's, I mean, it is super simple premise, but if you can kind of see here, I've got this guy, the little notch here. I was able to kind of find like just the right notch there. So when I went into that like second one and used that on the plastic shroud, and then when I turn this back over, it's like the perfect distance to kind of hide those PCI cables without, you know, being too close, but still staying within the confines of my case. So yeah, really easy to, to install this baby. Um, so yeah, we've got the lighting here and this is really the only reason why this guy exists, right? <laughs> I mean, look at this, addressable RGB light. I've got it to a teal color right now. And yeah, but I wanted to showcase, I wanted to showcase just kind of what it looks like on the color spectrum. So if I go to my digital LED, so I just did a color cycle there and you can kind of see it's gonna start cycling through some of those colors there. I meant to do the digital wave though, and there we go. So now I've got a digital wave running through and the only thing I noticed is this is just a little bit dim on the vibrancy. Like all the colors look a little muted on the digital wave. So if I go back to static here, we can kind of start seeing there. I mean, the, the colors aren't bad, but I do wish they were just a little more vibrant. But then again, it does keep it from standing out too far. So it's it does pretty darn good with colors like the green, the red, and the blue. But when you start getting into the in-between shades, 
that's when it starts losing some of that really bright vibrancy. Like that yellow doesn't look nearly as bright as you would think. Same thing I noticed there with the orange. So yeah, just, you know, minor detail there, but all around pretty solid lighting. Um, if you were looking though for something that wasn't going to blind you in the face, this guy is going to fit nicely. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this re review up. <laughs> look, I get it. I understand that a lot of you are going to look at this and think, what? There is absolutely zero point to a product like this. And yeah, that's great because you know what? Nobody is saying anybody has to buy anything like this. But for those of us who love RGB, guilty. And for those of us who love flair with our computer builds, this guy is kind of freaking amazing. So yeah, the RGB being a little bit on the dim side, that was a little disappointing to me. Now, I'm not 100% positive. Maybe that has a little bit to do with my RGB header, but I have a trouble believing that because I've had a lot of products that's gone through the system and this isn't a problem I run into all the time. So I think it's just that these, are, these LEDs are just a little bit on the dim side and I'd like to see a little more vibrancy, a little brighter. Brighter LED. Other problem, of course, I had, but I get it. It's kind of just a me problem, but there wasn't a second bracket to hold up a second graphics card. And well, I got two cards in there. So Deep Cool, if you're checking this out, if you could just send me one more of those brackets just for future, you know, case reviewing stuff, because, you know, I, 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 it would just help. Just, just saying. But on a serious note, guys, even if you think this is ridiculous, even if you think it has no practical purpose to have RGB on it, even if the practical purpose of being a GPU holder is a little bit helpful, this thing is only 20 bucks on Amazon. And oh my gosh, that just blew my mind. I wasn't expecting this to be just a simple $20, but I mean, for 20 bucks with all the adapters and all the thought process Deep Cool has put through on this guy, I'd say, heck yeah, pick one of these guys up. If you got some GPUs, if you got your graphics card sag, end your sag, have a little bit of some awesome swag on there and solve the problem. On top of that, guys, if you have a graphics card that doesn't have RGB lighting, but everything else in your system does, then this guy will kind of cover up that fact and you'll be able to add some RGB lighting to the graphics card without having to change an entire component out. I'm gonna say, guys, I know this isn't for everyone, but for anybody who needs even anything remotely close to this, Hardware Hound must have a ward. Absolutely love that. The price is what really knocks it out of the park for me. So I think Deep Cool has done an amazing job here. And it may not be something that's a huge deal, but it's it just it's nice. It adds a lot. Oh, and I forgot to mention in our closer look, it even covers up the PC. If you have cables coming up through the PSU shroud, it'll cover up and hide those guys so that you can't even see them. That is also kind of, it's just, it adds a lot of cleanness to the build. And for $20, I think it's completely worth it. All right, guys, but let me know what you think in the comments. I, <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to comments. <sighs> anyway, hope you like this video. Hope you like this review. Hardware Hound, catch you later.